Boston-McMahon rivalry turned the tide in the Monday Night War. I ain't through with you, bitch. I ain't through with you, not just by a long shot. Mr. McMahon tried multiple solutions to tame the rattlesnake, but transforming Mick Foley into his corporate crony was plan A. Things may have started to go awry for Mr. McMahon and company. The rattlesnake has struck! Austin is still a champion! A plan that no longer served him any purpose. Your services are no longer required. While Mr. McMahon made it clear that dude love would have to go, a certain phenom voiced that he was here all along and would not be moved. Even after all his hand-chosen favorites left town, I stayed by his side, thinking my time would come. How do I get repaid for that? He forces me to fight my own brother. That's gotta be Kane! He's waited 20 years to face his brother! Oh, this is a war. This is a war where there will be casualties. And after the last eight months, I've had enough. Now it's time The Undertaker got what is rightfully his. You want to be the number one contender? Let's see what happens when you have to face your brother, Kane! Undertaker and his brother Kane now getting it on. 
The winner goes on to meet Stone Cold in Pittsburgh at King of the Ring. And the Undertaker's going to deal out an ass whooping. Well, let me say this, Stone Cold. You can't be looking forward to facing either of these guys, whether it's Undertaker or Kane. Neither one of these guys is going to be a walk in the park. I ain't saying it's going to be a walk in the park, but I don't want it to be. Back into the ring now. Oh, he spiked him with the DDT. And the knuckles connect. A stiff uppercut can make someone pet Coon Goofy. Kane in trouble here. There's a good reason that's called a backbreaker. It can snap your spine. Nice move there by Kane to reverse it. An elbow. Oh, no. The big red machine looking to end. It. Oh, the big red monster. Destructive. Oh, no. Kane, no. Oh, man. What a choke slam. That'll do it, JR. Look out for Kane. That size 14 connects. Missed him. That hand had a lot of force behind it, and the monster reverses it. Oh, the elbow connects. And that punch lands hard. Kane setting it up. with that and it really will be what the WWE is all about in a month from hey he's going for it again tremendous move by King he's left the ring this could get interesting back they go into the ring the ref gets out Oh no, Kane's got the neck. Choke slam connects. My God, the elevation, the impact. Oh, Kane is just relentless. Boomer Sooner, a huge Oklahoma slam. Taker's in trouble. Taken down again with amazing velocity. Kane could finish here. Oh, the big red monster. Destructive. Oh, boy. Tombstone pile driver connects all the way from hell. What a maneuver. Look out for Kane. What an incredible power bomb. Kane, don't do this again. God, the big red machine dropping him right on the head with that tooth. We got to cover. One, two, three. Kane wins. Hey, did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? Not as much as I'm going to enjoy Kane beating your ass. Kane is the number one contender. Kane is going to Pittsburgh to fight Austin at the King of the Ring.
think you could tell us what to wear? We are the Generation X! You made your rules! And can not only beat you down. Oh, man! Steel chair being used as a weapon. Driving that chair into him again. He's getting tenderized right now. Oh, no! The Undertaker is beating the living hell. Kane is desperately trying to get in and say, Undertaker looking to make... Oh, uh, Mr. McMahon. The Undertaker gets the win. with us headsets on he's geared up and uh, ready to rock so to speak i've got the headset on but the last thing i'm ready to do is rock i'm here to watch the rock get his butt kicked all over this building by shamrock This match will be the 1998 King of the Ring. And the King of the Ring has a way of elevating careers. Wouldn't you say that it helped elevate your career after last year? Oh, it helps everybody's career. Look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look at Triple H. The King of the Ring is without a doubt a stepping stone in this business. This is the finals. It's been a tough journey. 
16 men started. Four men made it here tonight. And there are two remaining. Ken Shamrock and The Rock. Keep it clear, these are athletes. These are not old men stumbling around the ring. This is where athletes go, and it's going to determine the king of the ring. Well, this is what I think Shamrock's thinking. This is the biggest match in my life, and I have a bad ankle. He's worried about that, JR. The ankle's got to be an issue. And no doubt The Rock is very well aware that Shamrock had that ankle dinged earlier tonight. And The Rock better hope that ankle doesn't end up between those two gluteal cheeks of his. Oh, man, that might have dislocated his kneecap. And he unloads with everything he's got. What's this? Oh, The Rock's too fast to get caught in that. His strike hits nothing but air. Oh, my gosh! What a haymaker! A huge right hand! Oh! The people's champ felt that! Big opportunity for Ken Shamrock! Did you hear how his leg connected? Ouch! Bam! Look at the strength! behind those strikes. Oh, big elbow. That should do it. And that punch lands hard. That suplex was picture perfect. At Survivor Series last year, Shamrock was a one-man band, eliminating two members of the nation, including The Rock. Now, when you say he was a one-man band, do you mean like... Uh oh Ken Shamrock! Oh, lights out! I'm afraid he's going for it. Yes, it is. It's that dreaded ankle lock. Shamrock's limping a bit, and we knew it would happen. This is showing you just how bad these men want to be king of the ring. They're pulling out everything in their arsenal to win this. They've already competed once earlier tonight, and they're both still going strong. But interesting thing is how tough both these guys are, but neither one of them is tougher than me. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's a real fun fact. Oh, I'm full of fun facts. feet to good use and there's a counter by the most electrifying man in sports entertainment oh mama missed him Dodges out of the way. Rock's in trouble. Oh my! An explosive suplex. The Rock reverses. And that attack was dodged. Oh man, can he get up from that? Shamrock taking advantage. And he's getting out of there. And there he goes, crashing to the floor. got him in trouble. I can't believe it. Oh, baby, the dreaded ankle lock. Oh, my gosh. dangerous Kim Shamrock with the victory. Shamrock! Shamrock! Kim Shamrock, king of the ring! JR, maybe you should say that like five or six more times. Kim Shamrock, the 1998 king of the ring. And he did it with his ankle lock submission. And he never, ever quit. Nothing was handed to Kim Shamrock. Nothing's been handed to him his entire life. And now he can say 
that he's the king of the ring. This arena is red hot and sold out. Welcome, everybody, to the WWE King of the Ring. Not only will we crown a new King of the Ring tonight, but the most evil, demonic structure ever erected in this industry is hanging over the ring. And tonight, The Undertaker and Mankind, in one of the great main events, will get it on inside of the steel. King, two main events. What do you think is going to happen inside of the cell? Well, you said it before. It's demonic. It's perverted. We've only seen one Hell in a Cell match in WWE history, and it was the most unbelievable match I've ever witnessed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the EMTs are ready for what should be one hell of a night. He was born Michael Francis Foley on Long Island, New York. His manifestations as Dude Love and Cactus Jack are infamous, but none are more deranged than mankind. His scarred body, he's missing half an ear. He says that when he gets inside the steel, that he'll feel at home. Wait a minute, what, what's he doing? He's, he's climbing. Mankind is climbing the cage. He's supposed to start off inside the cage, isn't he? Yeah, the, the Undertaker has to have been introduced. What's he doing? Well, he's not very logical. He, the man needs therapy. Who knows what he's thinking? Got him. All right, here we go. There is a chill in the air that signals the arrival of the one, the only phenom of the WWE. The Undertaker. You think mankind's daring The Undertaker to start this match up there? Well, if he is, I don't think mankind will have to ask twice. The pain that these two men are preparing to endure is inhuman. Look, he's doing it. And The Undertaker says, if you want me up there, I'm going to come up there and whip your behind. There's nothing between Mankind and The Undertaker but the concrete floor and imagination. And apparently, the Hell in a Cell match is now officially... Oh, my Lord! He's trying to throw him off the top of the cell. Here it is one more time. Good God Almighty! Good God Almighty! He killed him! As God is my witness! Mankind is broken in half. Well, this is over. This is over right here. I cannot believe. My God, I cannot believe. That cell is over 16 feet high. The Undertaker is still on top. The Lord of Darkness has ruined this. This, this might be the shortest Hell in a Cell match that we've ever seen. Yeah, but without a doubt, the most violent. Oh my God, they're raising the cell, but the Undertaker's still on top. Well, they raised the cell so that the EMTs can get out here. The pain and misery that Mick Foley must be enduring is beyond belief. And somebody again is going to say, oh, yeah, well, they know how to fall. Give me a damn break. Look, you got to be kidding me. No way. How in the hell is he standing? wants to go back up. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing here. Oh my gosh, if he throws him off the other side, that's it. Take somebody get these men down. The cage is falling apart.
And there is one stiff pose line. The punch connects. Great quickness being shown here. An elbow. And he strikes with a quick kick. Nails his face. And that one hurt. Whoa. Hey, that's it. He's done. Undertaker looking to make someone rest in peace. What are they going to do up there? So dangerous. Look out. Oh, good Lord. I thought it was going to go there. What in the hell are they doing? That's, oh my gosh. These competitors are trying to send each other to hell. Good God. Good God. He's broken in half. And the Undertaker likes it. Oh, my God. The Undertaker is coming back down. Stop it. Somebody stop it. Well, somebody stop the damn man. And that's enough already. He's either crazy as hell, or Mick Foley's the toughest SOP I've ever seen in this environment. Oh my gosh, the dead man. I tell you what, folks, in over 25 years, I have never, ever witnessed anything that even closely resembles what we have just witnessed. These two men gave you everything in their body. They gave you their soul here tonight. And these people are standing and cheering for the effort, for the desire, for what they have just seen from two phenomenal athletes. Well, we need to get some medical attention out here right now. This has been the most ungodly match that perhaps we will ever see. have just witnessed we still have one more match to go oh my gosh i almost forgot the wwe championship match
And here we go. Let's get it on here. The match can only end when one man draws first blood on his opponent. That means no disqualifications and no pinfalls. Yeah, that's right. These guys are going to try to bust each other open right away here. Austin has a badly infected elbow. He was laid up in a hospital for three days last week with staph infection in that arm. He had over a 100-degree fever for a couple of days. He may not admit it, but there's no way in hell that he can be even close to 100% here. With a tremendous clothesline. Wham! Look at this! Big bulldog! And his attack misses. Blocks the chop. Nice. That'll knock you silly. That hand had a lot of force behind it. Oh, man! That could be a knockout. Look out for Kane! What a slobber knocker of a slam that was. Oh, my gosh. That size 14 connects. Will you look at the power of the big red machine? Good God. Hellfire and brimstone. What an intimidating specimen Kane is. Wow. Austin's just opening a can. What's he going to find? He looks like a cat playing with his dinner. Oh, my gosh. Sledgehammer. Oh, man. Hit by a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer connects again. Look out. It's a sledgehammer. He's got a sledgehammer. Oh, this is brutal. That sled. Nothing but misery for the competitors in this matchup. You know, one thing I just noticed is that there's almost no exposed skin on Kane. Just that right arm. Austin, on the other hand, is completely. Uh oh. Kane could finish here. Oh, the big red monster. Destructive. Oh, Kane is just relentless. Oh, boy. Oh, God. The big red machine driving him right on the head with that tombstone. Sledgehammer landing again. The viciousness of this match is off the charts. The ref's out. is busted open. He is busted wide open. And the Undertaker's rolling the referee back in the ring. What the hell? Watch it, watch it! And Kane, from behind, levels his own brother. What the hell is going on here, JR? Austin is bleeding. The referee still hasn't seen it. Austin has a tear. Oh my God, what a shot! The referee is calling for the bell. Austin is bleeding, and the title's on the line here. Winner of this belt, and new WWE Champion, Kane!
from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what, the atmosphere in this arena is absolutely breathtaking. You can feel the emotion. You can smell and taste it. Oh, the WWE is red hot. And Stone Cold wants his title back. Yeah, well, he's not going to get it. We finally have a champion we can all look up to. A role model. A man that doesn't curse or drink or use any foul hand gesture. Be that as it may, ladies and gentlemen, Kane has the championship advantage. And by that I mean Austin has to beat Kane. Kane does not have to beat Austin to retain the title. So up next, the WWE Championship is on the line. Cole with a bad staph infection in that right elbow. But he'll accept what happened and say that he has no excuses. But the reality is his opponent did not draw first blood. The Undertaker drew first blood on Austin. And the title is on the line here tonight in Cleveland. And it's not going to be pretty. But the goal is on the line. What do you think McMahon's thinking here? He's got to be worried. A ferocious clothesline. Just devastating. Back they go into the ring. And he strikes with a quick kick. Wow, he's still down after that. Reverses it. His strike hits nothing but air. Austin, this could be bad. Oh man, what a neck breaker. The bionic redneck Steve Austin sees the opening. There's press. Look at Austin go. Austin, no. Kane, seven feet, 325. The champion. Thanks again to that shocking victory at the King of the Ring, courtesy of Kane's brother, The Undertaker. Ah, oh, come on, Kane. Repeat history here tonight. The Undertaker sang earlier, I did what I had to do. Now, what the hell does that mean? Why did The Undertaker cost Austin the title? 
Yes, I can understand the dead man not wanting his brother Cain to have to set himself on fire. But there had to be a better way, a different way. Stone Cold looks like he's starting to get fired up. Hey, he's going for it again. He's tearing it up out there. Uh-oh, the big red machine has been busted open. He's left the ring again, playing mind games with his opponent. Now back into the ring. Uh oh, he's on the move again. Back into the ring now. The rattlesnake sees the perfect Stone Cold Stunner. That's it. It's over. There's a and he grabs the ropes. And it appears to be a test of strength here. Elbow connects. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. And there they go again. Back in the ring now. Oh my gosh, what a slam! He's putting those educated feet to good use. He's spending more time outside the ring than in it. Roll back into the ring. destroyed him with that counter. He dropped him right on his head with a DDT. Oh, what a painful kick. Collar and elbow tie-up. A beautiful atomic drop right there. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. Heading back into the ring now. Oh, he's on the move again. And here we go. Back into the ring. Oh, that hurts my head just looking at it. No way. Stone Cold Stunner. Stone Cold Stunner. Austin did it. Austin did it. There's the cover. Gotta be it. I think he's finished. with everything he's got. Kane in trouble here. Pile driver! I've seen this before. We may see a mud hole get stomped here soon. The two competitors lock up. Nowhere to go. Center of the ring. The submission's locked in. And the rest back is turned. He's in trouble now. Austin's in a fighting mood. He's going for the three count. Oh, gosh. The ref's not going to tolerate much more of this. Kane with a devastating counter. The sound of human flesh on the ground echoes around the arena. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Stone Cold! He set that up brilliantly. He's got his shoulders planted to the mat. Austin's got it! There's the stunner! He's going for the pin. Two, three. And Stone Cold wins the title. Here's your winner and new.
WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin has just regained the WWE title. Oh, poor Mr. McMahon. Oh, hell yeah. What to wear. We are the Generation X. You make your rules, and we will break them. I give you the world champion. I give you Kane. The reason I'm not here is because I want a rematch with Kane right here tonight. Stone Cold's shocking challenge. Oh, yeah. Would garner him his championship rematch. The crowd is jacked. Oh, here we go. Look at this. The title is at stake. There is no richer prize in this game. Straight from hell comes The Undertaker. Ah! Austin Tanner. Kane misses that block. Austin down there. Ah! Stone Cold may have stunned The Undertaker, but it was Mr. McMahon who stunned Austin the following week on Raw by announcing a number one contender's triple threat match between Undertaker, Kane, and Mankind. We are about to find out who the number one contender is for Stone Cold's title. There's no Undertaker. He's supposed to be out here. Undertaker's missing the boat here. He had a chance to be the number one contender. Well, we got to have a match. Kane and Mankind. is in a fight for his life against this demon in a red mask. Oh, no! Is that a tooth? Great quickness being shown here. They dodged that one. Ow! What an elbow! What a ferocious atomic drop that was. Back into the ring they go. now let me remind everybody there are no count outs these competitors can stay out here as long as they like oh that elbow's gotta hurt huge shot to the big red machine that one darn near took the jaw clean off blocks it if this was a hockey match which also has got to reach down and the rattlesnake. That rattlesnake will strike you. 
But where's the Undertaker? It is Kane! Man, this is physical! It is! Austin wants to get him back toward that hearse! Austin said the Undertaker was going to go for a ride in that hearse come hell or high water! Austin's got it! Look at him unloading with the Thez Press! Thez Press! Look at Austin go! They re-enter the ring now. Oh, look at the emotion! Bulldog headlock, face first to the floor. Kane in trouble here. Elbow connects. He misjudged the range on that one. Man, he's still down after that move. Whoa, those steps being used as a weapon. Nobody's going to be the same after this match. Back into the ring now. I've seen this before. We may see a mud hole get stomped here soon. Back into the ring now. Stone Cold looks like he's starting to get fired up. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. Austin, this could be bad. And again, he bails from the ring. Stone Cold just doesn't stop attacking. Oh, big elbow. That should do it. Look at the rattlesnake. Look at Austin. Oh, he's got him. Oh, no. Kane's being shoved into the hearse. Kane's going for a ride, all right. Right down the highway to hell. The door's locked. What's going on here? My God, my God. It's the Undertaker. The Undertaker's driving the damn hearse out of here. Look at this! Now what the hell is going on with that? So it was cahoots all along. Mr. McMahon warned me Kane was no good. And I tried to believe it wasn't so. And now that is, well, uh, Mr. McMahon has offered me my chance at redemption. Mankind's body just splattered on the concrete. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Let's get out of here, JR. I wish we could. This match, has this match even started? Is anybody keeping score? Out on the floor and underneath the ring? There's no telling what's under this ring, JR. Someone should have a search under the ring. There's weird. Oh, man. Steel chair being used as a weapon. He's spending more time outside the ring than in it. What's he doing? What's he doing with those steps? Oh, those steel steps getting used now as a weapon. He's just lethal with that thing. Oh, a step. And I mean step shop there. Mankind's in trouble. That's a good example of what Kane's all about. Look at him block the attack. And he strikes with the knee. The punch connects. Wow, that might have broken his jaw. Oh, Kane is just... He's taking the fight to his opponent. What a bat break. Uh-oh, Kane 
Kane could finish here. Tremendous move by Kane. Oh, no! Kane, no! Oh! The big red monster. Destructive. Good God. Hellfire and brimstone. What an intimidating specimen Kane is. the knuckles connect beautiful uppercut over the top rope and he almost came down on the back of his head hey he's going for it again that had to hurt and probably more than he's willing to show us oh gosh Kane's mankind mankind has got to be out on his feet this man should be in a hospital right now. Well, all I can think about, JR, is that Vince McMahon must have a smile on his face that'll probably have to be surgically removed. He set this whole thing up, but why? Why does Mr. McMahon want Kane and mankind to destroy each other? Uh, just because he can do it? There are puppets and people pulling the strings, and Mr. McMahon gets off on pulling the strings. Oh, nice block. Down he goes. You hear how his leg connected? Nice move there by Kane to reverse it. An elbow. I think I saw two fly out. The big brother, the Undertaker, likes what he's seeing. There's no more conspiracy. It's a fact. Kane and The Undertaker are by God together. Oh, McMahon was right. He told you so all along. I think you'd have to be crazy not to be scared of the big red machine. Oh, this is dangerous right here. The sky's being the limit sometimes. Oh, this could be it. He's got him up. Oh, man. That's got to hurt. Oh, no. Look at the eyes of Kane. Oh, man. What a choke slam. That'll do it, JR. Oh, no. Kane's got the neck. And there's the choke slam. Big man. Yeah. 